of May, I think. Yeah, 9th of May, Chris Billum Smith's back out in action, taking on Nathan Foley, uh, defending your Commonwealth title. Uh, happy to just have a fight date now, and uh, you're boxing someone uh, from this country as well in Wales. Yeah, mate, yeah, happy to have a fight date. Obviously, uh, there was talk of having a show back home in Bournemouth, but it, it didn't uh, come to fruition. Uh, so I'm on the road again, someone else's home, home show, uh, which obviously I've done last time out against Craig Glover in Liverpool. Uh, but yeah, glad to be fighting and glad to be de defending my belt. You've boxed now Riakpour, Glover, and now Thorley as well. I'm sure you've kind of got a little bit more, more motivation when the, uh, the opponent's from here rather than just boxing a, a European or a South American like you would have in, uh, in your early days. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with him being... Oh, you all right? What, mate? Um, I wonder who that was. <laughs> uh, yeah, happy to be, to be fighting someone who, you know, of note, he's, he's an unbeaten, unbeaten Welsh lad. Uh, obviously, the Welsh got a rich history of, of boxing. They've got plenty of former world champions and, and good fighters. And um, we've seen as recent as Jay Harris putting in a great performance out in the States. So we know what they're capable of. So, uh, you know, my eyes definitely be, got to be on the ball with this fight. And I'm, yeah, I'm glad it's against someone of, of uh, decent calibre. Are you happy in the way you bounced back, suffered that loss to Richie Riakpo and then went and beat Craig Glover? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've um, improved slightly from the Richard fight with, with a bit more experience. Um, I was very confident going into the, the Glover fight. Um, but even since then, I've, I've improved. I've just been out sparring Maris Breedis for two weeks. So um, I've had some pretty decent sparring there with the world number one. So uh, I felt like I've improved again in those two weeks. So I'm looking forward to getting back in there and showing the improvements I've made. Well, that says something. He's got a huge final coming up with Dorta Cross in the World Boxing Super Series to determine uh, who's the best cruiserweight in the world. So the fact that they brought you in for sparring says something. I didn't know that. How was that work? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, I was used when I was over there. I was the main the main sparring partner. I did the most rounds, so it was uh, it was great work, and it, it it got very good feedback from them, from uh, you know Breedis and his team. They they, they appreciated the work, and it was a great experience for me, especially at the time when I didn't have a fight announced. Um, found out 20 minutes before the last sparring session that this fight was announced. Um, so that gave me a good, good kick up the arse to, to get going again in, uh, for the last spar. So yeah, it was a great experience and um, I learned so much out there and it was good to, a good little yardstick to see where I'm at. Barb Radis, have you sparred anyone sort of at that world-class level, elite level? Not cruiserweights, no. I mean, the, the last person I sparred probably, obviously Lawrence is, is, is world level now. Um, so we're lucky to have him in the gym but then we got obviously before that was the likes of George Groves and, and, and people like that so um, it was a great experience to you know, go to someone else's backyard and on their terms and be brought in as a sparring partner because sometimes that can be you know, intimidating, it's different when it's in your gym like with me and Lawrence obviously we've got the same coach so it's not as intimidating but it was good going over there and, and experiencing that it was a the gym was just a very small little gym in a, in a basement of this, this centre, so uh, that was uh, interesting. But I had Josh Pritchard out there with me, and yeah, we had a, a great trip. Lawrence is obviously at world level, and he's in the same stable as you, so that fight will, will just doesn't make sense. But in terms of the others, Richards, I think it's fair to say, is at the, the top of the sport in terms of Britain at the moment. Bar that, there's a ton of cruiserweights. Who are you eyeing up? Do you think you should all kind of just fight each other and then see who kind of gets a shot at Richard or moves on to world level? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Richard's had a few controversial wins, even Jack Massey and, and myself. There was a lot of people who thought I'd won the fight and plenty of people thought Jack won the fight. Do you think Jack won the fight? Yeah, I had him two rounds up. Okay. Two or three rounds up, I couldn't remember. But um, I had him, had him winning that fight. So it's, uh, it's sort of the best of the rest, really, because Lawrence is at that world level now. He's not going to want to come down, back down to domestic level. So I would believe he'll, he'll go and do a number on, on uh, Glowacki and uh, then it's the best of the rest. And, I've, and I think... Richard's been in too many controversial fights to push on, you know, to that world level. So it's we've got to prove who's the best of the rest. And I believe uh, if I can get the rematch with him, I believe that'll be me. Do you think that's realistic? Do you think he'll want to rematch you? Whether he wants or not is a, is a, is a different matter. But um, I might have to. Hopefully I can get it in line and we can put the Commonwealth and the British on the line. Um, he, I believe he's got a mandatory in Dion Juma first. Um, so if he can get that out of the way and... and, and you know, either even if he doesn't, I'll, I'll fight. I fight the winner of that fight, so that'd be a, that'd be a good fight for me. Okay, uh, listen. Best of luck against Nathan uh, here back in Cardiff. Just want to ask you about Lawrence Okoli. There's no official announcement yet about the Glovaki fight. How's he getting on? We expect that fight to happen as well next. 
Yeah, obviously they're, in, they're still in talks. They're trying to sort of date, I believe. And uh, he's been been in camp uh, they had to taper it off a little bit. Uh, to obviously because it got put back, it was going to be March, I believe. And I think it's getting put back towards May June time now, if if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, he's he's, he's Lawrence. He's he's been training hard, and like I said, but other than the tapering down, it's it's been 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 all go. So. Uh, He's the same old Lawrence, he's funny, he's confident and he's uh, he's looking forward to becoming world champion. We look forward to it as well. Listen, Chris, uh, best of luck in camp uh, back here in May defending your Commonwealth title. Is there anything you want to add? All good, mate. All good. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time. Cheers.